Oh yeah, doesn't that look good? So it's April, sunny day, awesome weather. Yesterday was 80 degrees. Bad thing is, a storm came through last night. It's 58 degrees right now. But it's not gonna stop me from wading in this creek. It's supposed to warm up to like 62. Good thing the sun's out, so it's gonna feel really good. Uh, the water's warm enough to wade in already. I can't wait to get in this creek. It's, it's kind of new. This is definitely a new area I've never been to. I've only been to one part of this creek once before, and I think it's gonna be good. fish oh perfect oh there's a couple more there's my little smallmouth and that's what we're targeting we're targeting the Tennessee state fish today in a creek a beautiful big creek that oh man this fish is cold water's actually a little cold beautiful big creek that's gonna hold a lot of nice smallmouth uh, two of them followed up I'm, this area here I'm just casting up ahead of me and he just was ready to eat something. So I think we're gonna get on some today. There he is. I saw something pick it up. Is that a rock bass? Yep. First rock bass of the day. Dark colored one there. Oh, all right. Oh, check out this turtle. It's a big old snapping turtle. I thought I saw something over here. Come here, buddy. a couple times uh rock bass yeah he hit it a couple times got him though no? all right all right oh a big old smallmouth just came out oh i see where he's at he just he may be bedding he just chased a minnow out if you almost drift it right past him if he's gonna eat it it'll go right past him Nothing. He's out, he's in the water right there. I, he, I just saw him come out in the shallow and like chasing a, a bluegill or something out of, like kind of out of his area. So he might not be eating anything, I don't know. Oh, nope. Probably getting ready to spawn. Cut in the current though, I don't know if that's where they spawn at or what. Oh, I got a little one. Oh. oh, look, 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 look. I don't know if you can see it or not. All right, I'll try to bring it in. I'll bring this one up. It's a little small. There's a big one following it. Where'd he go? I drifted it right past the big one, and this little one hit it, which that's not bad. That's actually a little bigger than I thought. It looks smaller out there. I wonder what that big one is. He could be two pounds. He's a pretty good fish. That's a chunky little smallmouth there, but yeah. All right, so I've already seen some big ones. I've been here. 25 minutes. This is my fourth fish hard to cut. Dude, I cannot ask for a better start. Let's just see if it keeps on going. Oh, that's a good fish. That's what I'm talking about. He's no giant, giant, but man, it's a good fish. Oh, that's awesome. This is awesome. Come on in. Come on in. I got you. There's these guys fight like mad. Oh, wow. Dude, look at that fish. He, man, he's like gray looking. That's a good bass. 
already. This is like the second cast after I just got that little one. Dude, already getting on some fish. 60 degrees outside, it's kind of cold. Man, I'm glad I came. I almost didn't because I was like, well, I kind of want to wait till the water really warms up. Well, they're, they're out and they're hitting. Oh, dude, this is a big fish. Don't come off. This, oh my, is a good fish. Really good fish. I, I don't know if I set the hook that good because I didn't know he was on there. <laughs> this hole right here. Oh my goodness. This is a tank. No way. This is a... Oh my goodness. This is unreal. 30 minutes of fishing already. I could end the video here probably. That is a tank. Man, what a way to start. Check out this fish right here. Oh my goodness, I'm kind of getting wet here. I'm squatting down in there. What a beautiful smallmouth. 2.7 pound, 18 inch smallmouth. Let's put it back in there. What a start of a creek fishing. 30 minutes in, 30 minutes of fishing. I've already caught all those. This creek, I knew this creek had good fish in it. And I think, I don't know, I thought the weather temperature may have had an effect on them, but no, they are hammering. And being cold, there's no one out here fishing. So I'm, I'm pretty sure no one's gonna be out here hitting them. Early April, Tennessee Creek Smallies. Dude, it's good. Look at these little fish jumping up right here. They keep doing it over and over again. Ha! Little, uh, I don't know what those are, shiners or chubs or something. I ain't got time to worry about that. Got fish to catch. There he is. Little guy. Pretty fish. All right, we'll get some underwater video of him. When I usually go creek fishing, this is the kind of fish I expect. I've already got room now, starting off really good with some really good fish. But I still appreciate these guys. It's fun, fun little fish. Thanks for biting. Go on about your day. There we go. That's a good fish. Yeah. Good. Come on in. Man, what a beautiful place this is. I can't get over this. Like, like right here, this spot right here, got a little, I don't know what, if the creek's breaking off, coming around, making a little nice, but this, this creek's a lot deeper than I thought. You drive by it, and as you're driving, you just look like, ah, oh, it looks like it's about a foot deep. There's spots, there, there's several spots that have been five, six, maybe seven feet deep. Uh, what happened to his fins? Look at that. Someone took a chunk out of it, it looks like. But uh, I love this beautiful yellow, almost yellowish looking bass here. Oh, I got one. Oh, no, I, did. I didn't even know I had one on there. It was, it started drifting in the current. It was right when it hit the current, it started drifting and I just started reeling it back in and felt a little tension. I thought it was just the current. It was a fish. There was two that I've missed over there. Sometimes it's hard to feel them when you got this current flowing and they're not, they're not just hammering, they're just kind of biting it real soft. Man, we gotta get one of them in from over there. There he is. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a really good fish. Dude, that is a giant. Oh my goodness. That. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe this. Get on up, get up on the bank, get up on the bank. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dude. 
This is the biggest fish I've probably ever caught. I don't know, maybe not the biggest one, but oh my goodness, that's insane. Oh my goodness, you ready? You ready for this? Oh no, no, no. Oh. Ah. I didn't even get a picture of it. Oh. I was gonna get it up and get a picture. I, I wanted to keep it in the water because I wanted to try to set up. And um, they, you think they're done, they got so much strength. That was a three and a half pound fish. Somebody's gonna tell me that it wasn't, but that was a three and a half pound fish and close to 20 inches long. It was probably 20 inches long. Hour and 11 minutes in, insane. That was definitely a three and a half pound, 20 inch smallmouth. Like that's ridiculous out of the creek and uh, something I'm not used to at all. I fished this little point, lost two fish, kept casting, kept casting, getting it in there and drifting. Boom, that guy pulls out of there. I wish I could have got a better uh, video of it, but man, I know I got it good on the camera and that it's an awesome fish. We can't catch the giants on every cast. Sometimes you gotta sell for a little rock bass. Which that's all right. Oh, it's a large mouth. Nice. Let's see here. He, I switched to the swim bait, wanted to try it out. I had a couple hits. I don't know if they're little fish or what. And uh, then I got this, uh, yeah, large mouth. Nice. Headwaters of that, that uh, little ripples coming in. Nice little bass. Come on. Come on over. Wow, he's uh, may have eggs. I don't know. He's really chunky. Pretty fish there. Oh, it's a rock bass. Well, there we go. First fish on that lure, a rock bass. Trying that uh, paddle-tailed, uh, I forgot, it's a Nico bass worm. I can't remember what it's called exactly, but rock bass like it. I watched him eat it. He wanted it. All right, they gotta start coming up here. Dude, it looks too good to be true. Let's go up here and see if it's really there. This is one of the coolest spots I think I've ever seen on a creek. You know, it's almost a small river, but it's, it's basically a creek. Just awesome. I'm gonna wait out a little bit, fish that rock ledge. That might be my last section probably, and then I'm gonna head back. Really haven't spent a lot of time out here. I could go, I could probably fish this creek for a month, just keep on fishing it. Okay. I watched that one. I saw him over there. Oh, oh, nice. <laughs> There's another one right there. There's another one right behind it. I watched him, I just saw him over here in this uh, calm area, cast the Helgramite over, just let it drift, and I saw him eat it. Perfect, perfect. Oh, there's, there's two small mouths right uh, behind it, but they're, they look smaller. This looks like the biggest one of that bunch, and that is a giant. All right, there's one. Let's see if we can get another one off these rock, this rock wall here. 
It looks so good. <laughs> yes, took a little work on him. That's a good one. Oh, there's another one that might be bigger right behind it. Oh my, that is so awesome. It took a lot of casting up in there. They didn't hit it right away. It just had a lot of working it, working it, working it, working it, trying to make that lure look as natural as possible. Come on, this dude don't quit. That's a good fish, that's a really good fish. I mean, that's a really good fish. That's a, <laughs> that's a good fish no matter where you catch it. Oh, barely hooked in there. Dude, what a day this has been. Yeah, I'm gonna fish this section and then head back. Um, Cause I, I wanna go fish with a friend at another place, but I've, I've caught so many fish here. I'm, I'm satisfied to only fish it for three hours or whatever it was by the time I get back. You know, a six, six, eight hour trip on a day like this, you catch so many fish. Obviously they're not gonna be hitting like this every day, but this has been really good. 2.1 pounds. Two point one pound creek smallmouth fighting machine. Oh, what a great spot to crack open a semi cold Mountain Dew. Oh yeah, I felt good. I carried it with me. All right, I am. I would say two and a half hours into this creek. Now fishing two and a half hours of fishing, which is not a, a super long time. The day I've already had, if I fished 10 hours, I would have loved to have that day. Um, the quality and just the fish, just and just figuring them out and having fun, like finding them. Like I've, I have tried, I've thrown a few different lures, but just throwing that Helgramite into those deep spots, just working that jig, you know, something else might work uh, work too, but you know, a jig or something like that probably would work great. Something that's in that current down low, uh, drifting has really been um, picking them up, which has made me lose a few because it's really hard to tell because it could be get stuck on a rock or have to be stuck in a fish's mouth and you don't know because they just got a hold of it. Well, I'm gonna work my way back. There's a couple spots I didn't fish really hard. I actually threw some other lures in it. So I'm gonna go back through, fish them again, try to take my time, just try to see if I can you know, get a few more and um, call it a day. Cause uh, man, it's, it's not even a real long trip. It's actually, it's a little chilly out. It's like six, it's, you know, you warm up to probably like 62, 63 today, but just a beautiful place. Oh, oh, I got, oh, no, 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 get out of that tree. He's in a tree. I got a pretty good fish. I got a pretty good fish. He's in a limb. Oh, stink came out. Ah, man, fighting over everything. Barely felt the tap. Come on. Eat it. There he is. Oh, what is that? A little rock bass. I was trying to catch this largemouth that's all over there, and this little rock bass came over and got it. Oh. Oh yeah, come on. Oh, I'm watching this little, I think it's a large mouth. I'm twitching it. Oh, come on. Oh, every time I twitch it, he comes up. There he is. <laughs> he finally got it. That's a pretty fish. I actually saw him on the way up, hanging out in this little calm area. I just, he's bigger than I thought. Wow. 
I thought he was a little bass. G goodness. I thought he was like a little 12 inch, little half pound bass. Man, that thing is, oh, it's, it's probably about to lay eggs or something, but fat, just, that's a pretty fish. That thing's over a pound. I thought it was a tiny little bass over there. Yep, there's the fish. Oh, good one. Oh, what? No way. <laughs> it's a it's a rock bass in a super swift current. <laughs> that's not a bad rock bass. I thought I had a giant. Oh man. That's not a bad rock bass. That's that's pretty cool. A fat thing too. Alright, get back in there. There's something. Yep. Uh, pretty good fish. Ooh, yeah. He's just in that current. Really good. All right, this hole paid off already. Just going super slow. Like I said, I came through here, fished it with the swim bait, and I just, you know, I can't get it down in there. And I've dropped that hugger mite through there several times. Just a pretty fish. Let's just see what this, I mean, he's probably not a pound. I wonder what, how long he is. Yep, that's a that's a 13 inch smallmouth. That's a great creek bass. Well, it turned out worthwhile to kind of slow down and I still think there's a giant in there, but we'll let this one go for now. Alright, this was the hole where I uh, caught my biggest fish today. Uh, I'm gonna kind of I'm coming coming to the other side of it. I'm gonna fish it from a different angle. I think I don't remember how many fish we caught out of here. There was a few fish caught out of this little spot. And I'm sure there's more, so that was an hour and a half ago, maybe when I came through. Let's hit it again. See what's hitting this time. Whoa, what is Yes! Something that's it's not a smallmouth, but that's actually pretty cool. A red is that a red horse? I think that's the same thing Tyler caught in a video of the other day. Dude, that is awesome looking. Well, he, he definitely hit the Helger mite. Oh man, it feels weird. I don't know if I've ever felt one. Dude, look at all those bumps. That is so cool. Definitely a new species for me on the Helger mite. Dude, they got some awesome little bumps all the way down and on their head. That is a cool little fish. Another fish, another rock bass. Oh, he don't like it. He don't like it. Oh my goodness, that's a rock bass. I gotta measure this guy. Look how long that thing is. He's 10 inches. Yeah, he's a solid 10, maybe a little more. I was just laying on that log trying to get a measure. Uh, no, that's, a, that's a trophy size. That's awesome. Trophy size in Tennessee. I think I see a big fish. Right there where my hugger mite is right now. Yep, got him. I thought I saw one there. Oh, that's not a big one. That's a good one. I thought I saw a bigger one. That's, they were on this little ledge. Just hanging out, waiting for somebody to cast to him. Drifted right into him. Beautiful. Nice. Yep, right there. I don't know if I'll get another one or not, but he was right where I, I thought I saw something and they were right there. fish that's a good fish right at the bridge where I'm about to take out my goodness right where I'm about to leave good smallmouth good 15 15 maybe 16 inch smallmouth right where I'm about to leave 
right down under a bridge out in the country wiring out some smallmouth oh another one what is that that's a rock bass oh what oh, that's a little smallmouth that's a beautiful little smallmouth look at the colors oh my goodness that is awesome fish Oh, it's a really good deep hole right here. Oh, if I can only get my lure back. Okay, I just broke off. Because it's probably a good thing. I do have a couple more lures, but dude, this looks so good. I could keep going, but I've had a great day. I gotta end this. Seven months ago, I quit my job to do this uh, YouTube full time. This is exactly what I dreamed of. This is what I've had in my mind all winter and I've been wanting to do. I fished this creek one time before, just a little part of it before. This is a whole new section I fished. Four hours, I was out here four hours and just caught some absolute, I, I call them giant smallmouth, especially at a creek. I thank God for giving me this opportunity. I know a lot of people would love to do something like this. I'm able to travel around. Right now I'm making enough to uh, be able to travel around and uh, do fishing. Uh, it might not go on forever, but who knows. Thanks so much for the people that watch it and support it. I know if this, if this video does get a lot of views, there's gonna be a 20, 20 guys out there that say, yeah, I do that every day. You know, those are, I catch five pounders. And you might, and that's great, but you're spoiled. People don't have this kind of creeks everywhere. Um, there's a lot of them out there, but there's the other guy out there that says, I got nowhere around me to fish. But a lot of times you have to search for it. Um, I love getting out here, showing what's, especially in Tennessee. I plan on doing a lot of Tennessee creek fishing. Uh, love kept going for the smallmouth, wading a place like this. If you kayak this creek, you'd probably go right over all the big ones. The big ones were down in that deep water. It was it was kind of different. I wasn't really expecting that, but it was fun to figure out. I lost a couple of good ones, um, probably over two pounds. I saw one that may have been, you know, pushing four pounds. And I know they're in here, I, I'm sure they are. Um, but losing fish is part of it. Uh, that's gonna happen. At least I was close to getting them. Is Sometimes what they were down in those holes, it's, yeah, things bouncing off rocks kind of can lose a little bit, but I love the setup I went with, a 6'9", medium light, 10 pound braid, eight pound um, fluorocarbon leader. Um, just, you know, give me enough, give me some backing and uh, the Helger might really got it done. Well, thanks so much for watching. Um, I would stay all day, but good thing there's, there's somebody, uh, I gotta meet up with a friend and do some other stuff for my YouTube channel and things like that. So uh, I appreciate all the support.